evening, I'm Dylan Austin. Alexandra is off tonight. It is one of the busiest times of the year for local grocery stores as shoppers try to meet the deadline of getting everything ready for their holiday feast. WGEM's Blake Salmon joins us in studio with more. Blake. Well, Dylan, County Market on 24th Street has just closed its doors, but earlier today it was full of shoppers buying everything from full meals to the last couple of ingredients. Store managers say these last two days have been some of the biggest of the entire year. Not usually I try to avoid this time. This this kind of I didn't want to have to come out, but I kind of have to because it, it's crazy. Managers at the county market on 24th Street say it's all hands on deck today. It's actually our second biggest day of the year, even though we have to close at six. The day before Christmas Eve is when a lot of people are shopping. Manager Doug Neiman says of the people that walked through the doors today, a few items emerged as the clear favorites. Uh, ham, obviously, holiday hams are a big one. Uh, people are making casseroles, all the traditional um, stuff that people have, yams. I'm making um, some, potato, some mashed potatoes with uh, velvety cheese, French onion dip in them. Um, kind of my specialty, making ham on the grill, smoking a ham on the grill today. According to the website delish.com, the average Christmas meal clocks in at around 3,000 calories. That's 1,000 calories over the recommended daily amount. This year, Americans will chow down on 22 million turkeys, 7.3 billion shrimp, 19 million chocolate Santas, and 122 pounds of eggnog. A middle school science teacher, Sean Carey, says he's enjoying his time away from the classroom. This is a good time to be off and kind of regroup and all that good stuff. Even with parents in town, last minute shopping and dinner prep stress, Carey says he's found a way to make it all work. Well, I've kind of wised up the last couple of years. I do everything the day before, so the day of, I don't have all the stress and trying to get that done, plus try to enjoy it, which is not really possible when you're trying to get everything ready. Now, county market managers say they closed their doors at 6 this afternoon, but they say they'll open up again Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Blake Salmon, WGEM News.